The Mazda 323F is an oddball. And for those of you who don't know, I actually daily this. The name 323F is a bit misleading. I guess Mazda apparently it should be pronounced Matsuda, but whatever. I guess they were trying to pull a Toyota Corolla by selling this with a designation that was familiar and already established in the market. It had different names in other parts of the world, like Lantis, Astina, Allegro or Artis. The handling of this car was quite a surprise for me. It's really very easy to drive, very surprising, very refreshing. Um, and yeah, for me, Mazda has been quite a surprise. I already heard the fame that the Miata had, but I never expected for them to be capable of doing cars like this, which combine sportiness and comfort for long journeys especially. The love or hate styling was penned by Ginger Also, a former Porsche designer. That explains the overall sporty lines, pillarless doors and distinctive sheet metal compared to other 323s. It's also great for not being able to find replacement panels! It has a weird hump on the roof, I suppose because race car? Way before your Mercedes CLSs and Grand Coupes and A7s, this was sold as a four-door coupe. And that, along with being very green, makes this exactly the same as a Tesla Model S. Engines available ranged from a double overhead cam 1.5 to a 2-liter V6. All petrol. Not a single diesel option, because why would you buy a sports car with a diesel engine? For the 1.5 is the one to have. It likes to rev and sounds great. The visibility from the back is a little bit tricky. You have to consider all the time that you have a bit of a boot. Um, it's almost a sedan shaped body. So you have to be quite careful when you do reverse parking. And when you are at junctions, the C pillar is really massive. It completely blocks your view when you have one of those T-bone sections on the road. The 323F is cheap to buy, easy to fix and has all the commodities you will ever need. Like all four-wheel houses of fun, this isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Although the boot is spacious, it has a big lip and the opening is very narrow. The, the behavior of this car is very predictable, very similar to the Celica or Toyota Corolla GTI. The only complaint I really have is the... the gear shifter. I mean... The gear selector is nice and everything, but you have to move your hand quite a lot to change gears. It's quite a, quite a long road from second to third and from fourth to fifth. You really have to push it away from you. You kind of expected a car like this to have a smaller throw in the gear shifter. The interior is very well designed and made out of durable materials but the finish and textures are a bit 1980s. It's hard to find competitors for the 323F, but I would say the Toyota Celica and Opel Calibra have finishes more pleasant to feel and look at. That being said, none of those cars have easy access to the rear seats. In this you can sit 5 people comfortably on short medium distances, since that swooping roofline takes away some space. And also, no other car has two glove boxes. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already to be sure you don't miss my next video. Top 5 things I hate about my Mazda. Like this video, share it with your friends and check out Mazda Tochiwa music for more of the great tunes in this review. Tell me in the comments your opinion on Kermit the Frog here, drive safe and I will see you all next time.